All right, YouTube, what's going on? I got some unboxings today. This is a nice little mail call. I wasn't expecting all of these. The unboxing knife. That was a weak flip. That was weird. The unboxing knife is the Brown Knives Jaeger M. This one's actually, I found out, was customized by Fanatic Edge, which I've had some nice done by them also. So it's got like an OD green Cerakote with uh, like a F flat dark earth backspacer and pivot collar and stuff. Pretty cool. Kind of a... REC, if, R -E if River's Edge Cutlery did a Jaeger, I just need to get the blade done, right? So let's open up some of these boxes and let's see what's going on. So let's start with this one. And I gotta be careful, pull it off camera a little bit to not show my information. Sometimes it's easy on some boxes and others. It is not, and this is one of those times it's not. This is a new knife that just, I think this is what I, if I think, I recognize the sender's name, Sanford Owen. You guys would know him from MBK Knives. Yep. Boom. MBK Knives. This is their newest, latest model, guys. This is the Mini Old Guard. Yes, the Mini Old Guard. This is what I got lucky. This was one of the first 10 that they produced and they released. And they just um, did a short, quick drop. I don't think these are actually quite available for order, but they will be soon. So keep an eye out on the website. So the old guard is not one I had. There's one on my yeah, that's perfect. Uh, it was one on my want list, and then but it was a little bit larger, and then they were off the secondary market. Couldn't find or not excuse me off only available on the secondary market. Couldn't find one for a while. Passed up a couple. So this is the new raindrop carbon fiber, which is sick. And yeah, this is a good size EDC knife, guys. This is just about perfect. It's about about the same size, a little bit bigger than a small Sabenza. So it's about four inch handle, three inch blade. Uh, I wanna say, this is completely unmarked, sterile, which is, oh yeah, M390, I thought so, right there at the top. I love that, I love the sterile blade. Thumb stud action's nice. Can I middle finger flick it? Ooh, yeah, it's a little stiff. Uh, detail I'll break in, I'm sure, a little bit. That's that's a good looking knife though. 200 bucks, guys, that's a it's a fantastic deal for M390 and carbon fiber, titanium, Laconico. Actually, this is not a regular Laconico design. This is a, so the old guard is, the mini is actually an in-house design. So, which, you know, obviously has his influence. So they kind of didn't mark it as a Laconico, but obviously it's a smaller version of his design. So yeah, it's a good size. I like that quite a bit. All right, next up is a cool new folder that's not released yet also but will be soon and it's a Savivi and this is part of Apex Pass Around which I've got to send a bunch of these knives off today to, from that group if I get a chance to do that I literally just got the mail had a minute in between work meetings so I just said I'll do an unboxing Oh, this is not the knife I thought it was. Just kidding. I thought this was the min Elementum button lock, but it's not. This is an artesian cutlery knife. I'm not even sure what it is. Let's check it out. Let's see. This is most likely, it's from Big Red EDC, which you guys are familiar with his channel. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is a pass around knife. So this is a, this is the um, artesian cutlery Oh, Pinkerton design. What's the freaking name of this? An Arroyo, I think? Well, the box doesn't say it. There we go. And it also doesn't. It says model 1845P. Oh my gosh, I'm totally drawing a blank what this one's called. Um, but it's, in, it's an in-house design. It's a Pinkerton design, and it's got their in-house steel, the RPM9, micarta handles. I like this a lot, actually. That's That's nice. Yeah, I like that Persian upswept blade. That thing's pretty sick. Yeah, so this is an Apex pass around knife. I thought it was the Elementum button lock. Mot wah, but it's not. And he did have it, but I think I got a different variation and different color than he had for the pass around. So I cannot, I think it's their Royal, but I could totally be wrong on that. So correct me if I'm wrong. Funny enough, doesn't say on the box, doesn't say on the card. Just says it's, in fact, it even says D2 steel. What the heck? <laughs> it says D2. But this says RPM9. 
But I like that too. That's nice. Nice smart car to handle. Deep carry clip. God, they make some really good budget knives. All right. These, this is kind of a budget knife, kind of. Well, I guess the old guard hunt. This is a budget. These guys in this package. Are, and this package took flipping two and a half weeks to get to me. Not by the fault of the sender, which is Asher Knives. It is just the way the Postal Service is. So, got a couple knives in here. All right, so this is the new flashback, which is his budget model. I think it comes around about 35 bucks. Oh yeah, it's a very, has like a, looks a lot like a clip point GEC. Um, I think that's why it's called the flashback. I think it was named by Slicey Dicey. I could be wrong. Nice green G, gray G can, G gen, blah, blah, blah. G10 handles, deep carry pocket clip, clip point blade, 12C27N. So a good budget steel. Yeah, good size. These are all pretty small knives I'm getting today. I like it though. Yeah, that's got a nice flippy, uh, flippy, uh, good flipping detent, good detent on it. And it is a liner lock. Yeah, that's a good little budget knife, guys. Especially if you like traditional style knives. That's that's nice. Yeah, I like that stone wash finish on that blade. All right, and the other one is. Dun, 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 off camera, that's okay. It's hard to do these all on camera. These boxes are kind of funny to open. Where's a pry bar when I need one? Just kidding. All right. Also a, obviously, Asher Knives. Um, S35VN, Century, I believe. Man. These, these guys don't mark their knives either. <laughs> this guy gives you a box. I, I should remember, it's the, um, you know, Axis Lock version of, I believe, the Nomad, but it's the Harpoon blade shape, which I believe is the Century. I could be wrong. S35VN steel, nice deep carry, clinch style pocket clip, which I like. Does use the, an Axis Lock type lock. Um, this is super smooth. And I believe this one's on bearings. So you've got some upgrades, obviously, from a Benchmade. You swap that, you can swap that clip over if you like to. It's got a nice, uh, looks like YG10 backspacer, I dig. Thumb stud deployment. Um, obviously, you can use the lock to deploy it as well. Um, really good size, about the same size as a Benchmade bug out. And this could be a bug out killer because it's under $100. And it's so smooth and it has upgrades to the S35 a little bit, you know, about the same as S3, but I like this harpoon blade shape with that fuller. You got a nice finger groove there, finger, uh, just, oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time with the words today. Nice thin blade stock on this too. Ledge, we're gonna call it a ledge. To put your finger to get some good cutting, it's good leverage. Yeah, I dig this one. Could, really good knife for under hundred bucks, guys. That's. Ultra smooth, nicely centered. Yeah, that's 35 VN steel. I know there was an issue with these original ones, so he did a new OEM, and this has a stone wash finish to kind of all in the new ones that I got upgraded to the actual proper steel. So that was really good of him to to do all that for a lot of people. It's a lot of a lot of people he had to make that right with. So good on him. So I've been wanting to try out Asher knives. Uh, these are the two I selected. I chose this one because I liked the access lock um, and I liked that it looked kind of like a bug out in a way, obviously different blade shape um, and thought it would be a good alternative for those that uh, want to spend a little less money on a bug out. Obviously it's heavier, there's no doubt. It's light, but it's definitely not bug out weight. So, All right guys, well, that's going to wrap up the unboxing. Um, I would say... I'm most excited about this guy, and I got, I can't believe how fast it came. Like, I just, I think I ordered this Friday. Maybe Thursday? I don't know. I got in on that initial drop, and boom. Kicked it out me in a heartbeat, so that's awesome. So I'll have a review coming up on this guy uh, for sure. 
the old guard mini i think this is going to be a super popular knife um once they drop and i know they're going to have a full titanium version the carbon fiber and possibly in the future micarta um so but this raindrop carbon fiber is sick yeah nice snappy action not quite drop shut yeah i mean it's it's very smooth it's on washers so it's very smooth i believe it's on washers mm, yeah that's definitely on washers yeah digging that guy that's definitely going to be a an easy one to, to pick up and carry and you know want to carry because it's a good size all right guys that's going to wrap this unboxing thanks for watching and we'll see you next time